Hi, this is Paul Wolverton with the Fayetteville Observer. I'm with Phil Harris of the Red Cross here in Fayetteville, and he's been uh, showing me around about what the Red Cross is doing to uh, help people uh, recover from uh, Hurricane Florence. Uh, this is a what's called, distribution center? This is our warehouse and distribution center. We've got uh, large tractor trailer loads coming in, and uh, we're going to work together to uh, divide it up into smaller truckloads so we can get it out to communities that have been impacted by the okay. disaster. So what? We're gonna swing the camera around a little bit. Uh, sure. Let me. I'll. Uh, behind us is our. We have a lot of pallets. We got pallets of water, uh, Clorox, uh, tarps, uh, anything you might need to clean up your house. Okay. Uh, and then it's gonna be loaded into these trucks over here. Smaller trucks. We'll load it into the smaller trucks, and uh, they'll find uh, neighborhoods that've been at impacted. Okay. We've got disaster assessment for people on the ground. They've identified neighborhoods that need the items working with community partners uh, to get these uh, stuff in people's hands as they return from the shelters, getting back to their home and see what they're going to okay. find. So you're getting large truckloads, 18 wheelers are yep. coming in and being offloaded here. Yep. It's been uh, really good now that uh, I-95 has been opened up. Uh, it gives us a little more access to supplies. So uh, getting those in as we speak and getting those things out in the community. And, uh, and where are... Um, where are some of the places that these materials uh, are going? There's pockets around Cumberland County. There's uh, a lot of devastation in uh, Robinson County, and so even all the way down to Scotland County and Laurenburg, uh, oh, yeah. Bladen County, Sampson County. And so we've got folks, Red Cross volunteers, out in the communities finding those uh, needs, and we're going to try to meet them as soon as possible. Now, the majority of the people in this room uh, working here uh, are volunteers, correct? Yeah, it's a, it's, lady... yeah it's a great. Um, Red Cross model. Okay. Uh, we've got a local Red Cross, but when it outstrips our capacity, uh, we bring in volunteers from uh, across the country, as far as Alaska and Oregon and uh, Alabama, and even met some people from Canada, it's from okay. the Canadian Red Cross. So, oh, that's great. Again, a lot of skills, whether it's uh, shelter workers or mental health workers or spiritual care. Uh, forklift drivers, logistics, mapping, something for everybody at the Red Cross. Now, if someone uh, wants to come help you guys, can they Yeah, show we've got up a, here? Uh, no, redcross.org is the place to start your process. Uh, we'll get you what, know what your availability is, know what your skills are, and at what time you can share with us, and we'll get you into helping out. Okay, great. Thank you, Phil. Great. It's Paul Wolverton with the Fayetteville Observer, and Phil Harris with the Red Cross here in Fayetteville, Cumberland County.